Hello, and welcome to the Z1 dashboard software. In this video, I'm going to talk about four of our specialty dashboards, the timing and scoring, the adjustment dashboard one and adjustment dashboard two, and the ahead behind dash. So the first one we're going to talk about is the timing and scoring. Uh, so this timing and scoring dashboard here shows you uh, your, the current lap time, uh, your lap delta, your last lap, and your best lap. Uh, and then on the right side, you've got uh, the lap you're on, uh, the position you're in, and the amount of time remaining uh, in your session. Uh, in this case, it was a test session, so I have 167 hours to go. Uh, and then at the bottom, you have information about fuel, uh, how much remaining, your average per lap, and uh, the fuel to finish. The next one we can talk about are the adjustment dashboards. Now we actually have two of these. Uh, we have adjustment dashboard one and adjustment dashboard two. So the first one, this shows you in-car uh, adjustments and what you have them set to. So you have all your engine mappings. You have uh, weight jacker, uh, brake bias, fuel mix, boost level, uh, rev limiter, uh, ABS, anti-roll bars, traction controls, wing adjustment, and differential adjustments. Now not every car obviously supports uh, every one of these, uh, and not even every sim supports every one of these. So if uh, the car or your sim uh, does not support one, then that option is grayed out. Uh, but if your uh, car or the sim does support it, then uh, the option will be in, uh, in black, and you'll be able to see uh, uh, what that adjustment is. So in this case, uh, I have brake bias, fuel mix, one engine adjustment, my anti-roll bar, uh, and a rear weight jacker uh, supported. And in, in addition, I also get my gear and uh, my lap time and revs up here. So this is the uh, second adjustment dashboard. And this is more aimed at Formula One cars uh, because it has your uh, MGU uh, information, uh, entry preload, brake bias, peak brake bias, uh, fuel mixture, and diff adjustments. And again, uh, these are only available if the car and sim supports it, and if not, then they'll happen to be grayed out. OK, moving on to what we're calling our ahead behind dash. This dash shows you who is directly in front of you on track and who is directly behind you on track. Uh, now, this can differ from who is actually uh, the person you're racing against for position, uh, because the person ahead or behind you might be a lapped car. Uh, they might be in a different class from you if you're in a multi-class event. Uh, or they could just be out of pit sequence with you, so you're not actually racing them. But the information provided is the, the driver's name, the car, their position. And if you're in iRacing, then you also get their I rating and their safety rating. Uh, and the same with uh, the person behind you. So that's an overview of four of the specialty dashboards. Uh, in another video, we will talk about some other ones. Uh, in the meantime, please subscribe to our YouTube channel below.